Hello and welcome to the 8th round of the 2016 PCC Lights Series season here at the Louisville Speedway. Starting on the pole is Alex Posington in the number 18 car. He's actually, uh, that team, Team Canada, has been in relegation for most of the season and it's good to see them up near the front. Uh, Jean-Francois de Villa in the 67 there, starting on the outside of row number 3, Sam Burkhart, the championship leader. On the inside of row number 4, there are 36 cars starting this race. As usual for PCC Lights events, Jeff Fisher had a strong run last week and uh, going back through the field there's Casey Lester uh, strong qualifying effort for Isaac Parsons there in the 79 uh, going back further uh, Lucien Ekdal Jr's fell off quite a bit this season uh, as it's worn on he wasn't he was looking pretty strong earlier in the season but just hasn't been up to form uh, 24 and 42 lock out row number 12 Ron Yave there in the eight car uh, J.C. Carpenter not quite up to snuff with his teammate. Matt Tauger is the best qualifying of the Tauger Racing Unit cars. And the outside of row 15, that team's had a terrible week, as has Turbo Sports. There's uh, Lenore Scurry near the back. And uh, locking out the last row are Patrick O'Hannigan and Gabriel Messina. And with that, Alex Posington leads the field to the green flag. Justin King on his outside. King's going to slide a bit wide here in turn number one, and he smacks the wall. That's going to set him back a few positions. Alex Posington, however, driving for Team Canada. This is his own team. They've been in relegation for most of the season, but they're just now working their way out. Uh, JF Davila won at Chicago, and now Posington is doing very well, but he's going to get passed on lap number four by James Beverly, driving for Andy Lambert in the 34. Caution number one would come out on lap number 10. Daniel Bouchard in the number 972 car is going to break down there on the inside. That's going to... Uh, require a tow back to the pits. Uh, now on the restart, Zach Meyer, a championship winner in the series in 2007, is going to go for the lead, passing James Beverly, his teammate who also has lights and cup experience. Uh, both of these drivers managed to uh, flunk out of the PCC Cup Series. They're back here in the light series doing battle for the win. And uh, Beverly is going to take it back here. This is a good battle for the lead here. Uh, this is two laps later, lap number 19. This is a timed event, a 45-minute race, and we're only about five minutes in, so this might be a long one. Gabriel Messina is going to go a lap down on lap number 22. He is the slowest car on track right now, and uh, somehow he managed to get the reserve driver position at Griffith Motorsports for Mansfield, but he didn't do much with it, and he's not really doing much here today. Your championship leader at this point, uh, Sam Burkhart is running. Oh, Gabriel Messina is getting in the way, and he has none of that. He's running in the lower top 10, which is a bit surprising, as uh, Sam Burkhart is known to dominate at these kinds of tracks. He dominated at Carbondale earlier this year, and his main points rival right now, Greg Maddox, is in 15th place, uh, running behind Roman Carpont there, and uh, that's Carter Fitzgerald in the 6th car. He's swinging it a bit wide. Uh, Maddox is. Now, uh, Zach Meyer is in a hornet's nest of lap cars. There goes Isaac Parsons into the wall. And uh, Zach Meyer putting, looks like Damon Jones getting ready to go a lap down. But Zach Meyer won a few races in PCC Cup. Now he's back down in lights, uh, doing one-off deals for uh, Lambert Motorsports. Looks like Casey Lester is, he's got a tire going down. He's going to bring his car into the pits from 10th place and lose a couple laps in the pits. Tough break for him. He is in the top five in the championship as uh, another driver having a good run. This is Matt Tauger actually getting ready to go a lap down. He is in 15th place, uh, lap number 55. And this is actually a very good run for this team. They uh, had a good run at Chicago too before that fell apart. Uh, Zach Meyer now, oh, that's this is just a gaggle of lap cars. He's already lapped up to about uh, 13th place and uh, he is setting a torrid pace at the front of the field. Uh, that's uh, Dima Van Hall getting ready to go a lap down. Zach Meyer really running away with this one. Alex Posington now doing battle with Dustin Oliver for the third position. This is about five seconds behind the leader. So that tells you how much Posington is uh, behind, but this is a great run for him. Team Canada in general is uh, not looking too good this season, and it's good to see them doing well. Denny Adams goes three wide with Austin Sanders, and Matt Tauger gets pushed into the wall. Caution number two comes out. That's James Beverly involved. Looks like uh, Dustin Oliver, Greg Maddox, AJ Murphy is going to be in that. And, oh, looks like Zach Meyer just got rear-ended by Ryan Pritchard there in the 964. 
and that's going to do some front end damage to that 43 car, but it looks like there's only five cars on the lead lap, and they're all directly in front of him, with the except, actually, I believe that's six, because I see uh, James Beverly back there a little bit, and Matt Beck is a lap down, and uh, th looks like Justin King's about to go a lap down now, so Zach Meyer, despite the damage, I think he might still be able to pull this one off, even if he's slightly off the pace, but doesn't appear to be so, because he just passed Justin King, but King's going to come back, and uh, King, who nearly won last week at Chicago, but was passed in the last turn by J.F. Davila, is going to get back on the lead lap there pretty easily. King, a uh, very strong competitor, has some PCC Cup experience, as does Meyer. Uh, in fact, most of the cars that are running very well, or the drivers that are running very well, have PCC Cup Series experience. Posington goes a lap down, he slides a bit wide there, uh, trying to get around Lenore Scurry and Gabriel Messina, but he's going to go a lap down on lap number 102. Matt Beck trying to get around uh, Hannigan and Sheedy. Sheedy's for position. He hits the wall, and that's going to put Matt Beck around. Caution number three is going to come out. Lenore Scurry's involved. Ron Yave is going to go out of the race with that heavy front end damage on lap number 108. And that's going to group the field back up. There are currently four cars on the lead lap, but Pausington is going to try and make that five as uh, he's going to try and make a move around there. And uh, he's going to use the lapped car of Lenore Scurry as a pick, and A.J. Murphy is going to follow suit. So Murphy is making a move back to the, towards the lead lap, and that, I believe, will put six cars on the lead lap at this point as Justin King is uh, back on the lead lap. He is five seconds back from the leader with 10 minutes to go. So in a 45 minute race, this is lap, or this is minute number 35, and uh, we've completed about 125 laps. Looks like uh, Justin King is making some big gains as uh, Posington went a lap down again, but is starting to regain on uh, Meyer and is going to try and... Oh, Meyer just hit the wall. That car is not handling very well. He's going to make a move on the inside and try to get back on the lead lap and uh, get himself back into contention if there's going to be another caution here. Working on the inside, and he's going to take that position uh, away from... Or rather, he's going to get his lap back from Zach Meyer, and uh, AJ Murphy's going to try, try to follow suit again. And uh, Sam Burkhart is actually struggling a bit here. He's... Uh, not actually had the best run. He's in sixth place, and uh, there's about six minutes left right now. He's uh, really not had uh, the best run that we were expecting. Dustin Oliver, however, is in second place. He is only three seconds back. He has passed uh, Justin King, and he's quickly gaining on the leader. Sam Burkhart now is uh, going to get his lap back. He is in sixth place, so that puts six cars on the lead lap as it uh, looks like uh, Zach Meyer's car has really fallen off. He is losing quite a bit of time. Uh, he's been struggling with navigating lap traffic, and uh, all in all, it looks like uh, Zach Meyer's day has not gone according to plan, even though he's in the lead, as uh, you saw A.J. Murphy sneak by him there. Tire wear is uh, really starting to affect that 43, as here comes the 31 now, with just, uh, just three minutes to go and uh, he's really closing the gap. Just two minutes to go now, uh, about five or so laps, and it looks like the 31's gonna make a very late race charge, and he's gonna try to steal it away from the 43 car. Uh, he is right there. As the time is ticking, he's got about 90 seconds right now. So just a few more laps, he's trying to make a move. Uh, he, is, he is right there as Dustin Oliver staring his first win. He is one minute away from the checkered flag and uh, looking on the inside there. Uh, I would call this about two laps to go at this point. Two laps to go for Dustin Oliver to try to get around. Oh, he's going to try to make a move, but he can't. Now, coming to take the white flag. Time has expired on the race. This is the white flag lap. He's going to make a move on the inside. Uh, Dustin Oliver making a move on the inside of Zach Meyer. He's going to pull it off, but it looks like that there is a caution, which means that we're going to go to an overtime dash here at Louisville. Oh, that's the... Okay, Gabriel Messina blew up 
and uh, instead of pulling that to the outside, he just uh, parked it on. Uh, he just parked it on the outside of the track, and uh, that's going to bring the overtime dash rule into effect here. And on the restart, Dustin Oliver is going to lead him down, but oh, he slides a bit wide. He hits the wall. Looks like Zach Meyer is going to slide on the inside. Zach Meyer takes over the lead on the back stretch, and coming through uh, the final turn, Zach Meyer is going to take the win here at Louisville in his second start this season. Oliver ended up finishing second so close, yet so far. Justin King finishes a strong third place. Sam Burkhart worked his way up to fourth place, getting around Alex Posington, who still had a very strong finish in fifth. Murphy was the last car on the lead lap in sixth place. Fergal Sheedy, second star of the season, second top ten for him. In seventh place, Matt Beck has a strong run, despite causing that one caution. Uh... James Beverly fell back to 9th place. Carter Fitzgerald finished a strong 10th. Jeff Fisher and Kelly Thomas, Syzygy Engineering teammates in 11th and 12th. Casey Lester rebounded uh, despite pitting early on under Green to finish 13th. Uh, Greg Maddox in 14th. That was Daniel Bouchard in 15th despite breaking down. Lucien Ekdal Jr. in 16th. Tiffany Matthews, Dean Wormer, uh, Bluto Belushi, and Damon Jones round out the top 20. Now taking a look at the point standing, Sam Burkhart holds the lead by a commanding 36 points over Greg Maddox in second place. Uh, his teammate Matt Beck is in third, which would put Winslet Motorsports up near the top of the team standings. Justin King in fourth place, Lucy Nectal Jr. fifth, Casey Lester sixth, James Beverly strong run for him today in seventh. Uh, looks like Dustin Oliver with that second place finish moves up to eighth, Lenore Scurry drops to ninth, Damon Jones tenth, Daniel Bouchard in eleventh. Blue Belushi, Isaac Parsons, Carter Fitzgerald, Kelly Thomas, Ryan Pritchard, uh, Denny Adams in 17th, Hosiah Hofacker did not have a very good run today. Uh, looks like that's uh, Barry Juveno in 19th, despite not starting this race. He's out in California right now for the PCC Cup race, so he missed this one. And Alex Constantine rounds out the top 20 in points, exiting Louisville.